Hey guys, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. We're here with another awesome uh, interview. I was going to say review because that is exactly who we're reviewing today. You've seen in the thumbnail and in the description of who we're interviewing today. And I'm so excited to interview this guy because he's one of the best reviewers on the planet. I love watching all of his reviews. So today we are interviewing David from Magic Orthodoxy. David, let's do this. Hey, how's it going? Good, mate. How are you? How's things? Great. Yeah. 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 So what, 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 it's, we're now interviewing you on a Friday. So you, it's your day off. What, what, what you got planned for the rest of the day? Much? I think I'm picking my kids up from school mm -hmm. and then uh, we're going to get ready for a garage sale. Do you guys have garage sales? Yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. that is? Yeah. 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 You, you sell all your, your old junk. Yeah. Sell garbage. <laughs> so uh, cleaning up, cleaning up uh, all the old stuff, getting rid of a bunch of my kids' toys and, and oh, getting ready great. for that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No, I'm too much of a hoarder. I get things that I'm like, oh, no. You know, like you'll hide your magic away and then you go, oh, I don't need this magic anymore. And then you go back and you're like, you spend the whole day playing with your old magic again. And you're like, actually, I should keep this. I did yeah, the or, yeah. Or you get rid of your old magic. And then a year later, you're like, I wonder where that went. And then you start looking for it and you don't even realize like you got rid of it like a long time ago. <laughs> and you have to go rebuy it again. And you're like, oh, and then just get a massive vicious circle. Well, yep. you got to do it. You got to do it. That's cool. So um, what's the weather like where you are at the moment? Is it nice? Uh, right now we're like, we're heading into fall. So uh -huh. it's kind of, it's kind of drizzly mm. out of some rain and like, you know, some warm. Yeah. No yeah. fair. Yeah. I'm in yeah. Northern Ireland. So today's like the first day we've had sunshine in like 11 teen years. So I'm like yeah. wearing a t-shirt. I was out at the beach today. Perfect. So, uh, look, I'll send you some sunshine and you can send it's, some it's, the rain back in. It's our, it's my whole family. It's our bucket list. Cause my wife's Irish on her side. I'm Irish on my side. Oh, nice. That's like the motherland. Like we're like, oh, it'd be the, the dream to go back. Oh, nice. We're about north or south. We have no idea. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> just, start, just travel around Ireland. I love it. Wherever. Yeah, that's cool. Wherever well, it's green. <laughs> it's green everywhere. It's green everywhere. And they all drink Guinness and it's cold. So I love yeah, it. That's the only thing I can't get behind. That's the, that's the worst. I mm -hmm. can't, get, I can't do Guinness. It's, oh, I thought you were going to say the cold and wet. And I was like, oh, oh no, no, that I'm fine with. <laughs> I'd rather take cold and wet over heat any day. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. But you can't do the Guinness. I can't. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I need to try again. It's been like years since I've yeah, had yeah. one. That's a required so, taste. And I've heard like even the temperature, like when you drink it is also like how they pour it can mm. affect. Yeah. So I don't know. And it doesn't travel well either. So it's even better in Dublin at the Guinness factory. Oh, see, well, there you go. There's yeah. another reason why I need to go. Yeah. There you go. Learn something new every day. That's what what do you for. eat? What do you eat with it? What's a good? What's a good? Like a sandwich? Like what would you eat with with Guinness? Guinness. Well, it's quite heavy. So it's quite. quite yeah. So I don't I like know. The, I like a snack and at the same time. So like oh, so maybe like I guess pork rinds and stuff because everywhere the pubs down here do like pork rinds and stuff. But everything like the Guinness is served in is like steak and Guinness pies and stuff. So okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, all right. Like now you've. You literally talking about food. I'm, my stomach's about to rumble. So <laughs> let's get into magic to like flat okay. stomach cover. But um, thank you so much for joining me, David. I really appreciate it. I know you're a busy man and uh, I, I can't thank you enough for coming to hang out. I am busy. Hi, always busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've read many things about it, how busy you are. So I appreciate it. Now, yeah. I uh, did a couple of questions online to ask a few people about uh, you. Um, but a lot of people want to know, like, how did you get your start in magic and how did you get your start in reviewing? So can you go delve way back when, or if it was, you know, how did you get into magic? Yeah. Um, it was something, my dad had a couple of books in, in the garage. And so, um, I think it was just one of those things when you're a kid, you explore your house and you kind of like look through your parents' old stuff. And my dad had like, a. um, it was like magic for boys or something. It was like some sort of like boy scout teenager, uh, book that was like half practical jokes. Like, Hey, can you, you can walk your whole body through a postcard and here's how you cut the postcard up so you can do that. It was like full of bar bets and like how to lift five pencils with one pencil. And, and then he, but then on top of that, he had a hardback book of Blackstone's like magic from like the 1940s. Yes. So it was like, two totally different books, but it, one was like all card tricks and stage effects. And the other one was like practical jokes and like, you know, math problems. And then, so it was just like taking those books into my room and like going through them. And, and then coupled with the fact that 
I grew up at a time when both Doug Henning and uh, Mark Wilson were on TV. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, every, you know, like just like Donnie Marie, they were on TV. So I saw Doug Henning and Mark Wilson all the time. David Copperfield was still doing his specials on TV. Uh, so it was just like, that's, that's how I grew up. So it was like magic was on television. I had magic in my room. It was something I naturally wanted to do. I tried to talk to my dad and say, Hey, why do you have these books? <laughs> and he said, Oh, I just, I just got them when I was in college. Cause I thought maybe they would help. It would help me meet people, mm-hmm. help me with my, uh, just, just being outgoing. Cause, uh, he and I are, I'm an, I'm an introvert. He's an extrovert. So and then it kind of just it kind of just fizzled from there and i didn't i didn't go back to it i think once i got into high school or in, in middle school i stopped mm-hmm. and and then it and then then my story picks up like probably everybody else's story david blaine was on tv yeah you know and then the resurgence uh took place and he, he just rekindled magic and then i got excited about it again and i was like oh i, I gotta get back into it and my dad kind of saw that in me and he wanted to encourage that. And he actually found a magic store in California where we lived and it was run by a guy that used to go to my high school. So I kind of knew him and my dad had gone to the magic store without me. And he said, Hey, my son wants to get back into magic. What does he need? And the guy's like, what does he like? And my dad's like, well, he's kind of funny. And so he got me like three Jay Sankey VHS cassettes. (laughs) And so I had Jay Sankey on VHS. And then uh, my dad said, here, watch these. And, you know, I'll take you back to the magic store and you can go with me and you can pick some stuff out. So I went back to the magic store with him and I got a thumb tip. I got a hot rod. Uh, he taught me uh, crazy man's handcuffs. And then it was just on from there. Yeah, it's all downhill. You're, you're hooked. <laughs> Although Jay Sankey VHSs, that would be sell those nowadays. If you still got those, I could imagine they would sell like oh, Jay Sankey's been around for a while. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm actually quite jealous that you have Jay Sankey VHS. Do you still have them? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was how you got into it. And how did that lead into reviewing? Because a lot of people want to know also, do you do you gig? Like is there or is it just mainly in the reviews or well, I I'd I had always collected playing cards. Mm-hmm. So that was something that I had always done because usually if you go, like if your parents go on vacation and you go into a gift shop. You don't really have a lot of choices as a kid, so you can collect shot glasses, but that's not me. And then, sorry, or spoons was another yeah. big thing. Like, oh, you look at all these spoons. And so, there's always decks of cards. So I would just get a deck of cards, and then um, there was always new cards at the grocery store, and I was picking those up. And then Kickstarter came out, and they were doing, you know, like Jackson Robinson was putting stuff out, and I was like, oh, so I was really getting into cards. And then I was in some card forums, mm-hmm. even and talking to people and then there was a, a deck of cards that came out as a kickstarter it was called like vortex and it was in the guy did a horrible job i think with the with the campaign or something he made some people upset and somebody was trying to get rid of their deck he said i don't want to even want this deck anymore i backed the i backed the campaign i don't even want it and he said who 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 wants it and i was like i'll i'll take it i like free decks and he's like all right i'll i'll, I'll mail you the deck you can have it for free but uh, your payment is you have to do a review of the deck. And I was like, oh, okay. So he mailed it to me. And then I was like, how do I do a review for a deck of playing cards? And looking back in hindsight, he probably wanted me to write a review, like type it up in the, in the forum because mm-hmm. we were a part of a forum. So he probably wanted me to do that. But I didn't know how to show. I, I'm like, how do I talk about playing cards? I yeah. need to show them, right? You can't talk about playing cards. You have to show them. So I made a video uh, just on, I put a tablecloth down and I was sitting at a round table and I had a little like z- little weird zoom camera <laughs> and I made I made this video and I didn't even show my face because I was just too embarrassed. Like mm-hmm. I just showed my hands and I made that one video and then I was like, well, I can't have a YouTube channel that just has one video. I should probably go through all my cards and show people all my cards and talk about why I love cards. Mm-hmm. So I just made a card channel. It was just me talking about cards and it was just my lower half and you know i would just bring the cards out and i would show them like one at a time like Mm -hmm. (laughs) it was really it was really basic and uh i think uh zach mueller even made fun of me because he was like he never shows his face but i was like i don't i that's not i didn't want to draw any attention to myself i didn't do it to uh 
to, you know, be popular yeah. or anything like mm-hmm. that. So, and then, um, I think there was like two times where I was like, oh, well, here's a, I might've shown a stripper deck or a Svengali, or I might've talked about, uh, one way forcing decks or talked about Mark, Mark's cards. And then, um, and that just led into doing magic. And then okay. really then Murphy's reached out to me on their own. Like I didn't contact them at all. Like mm-hmm. they found me. So, that's and then that, I mean, Murphy's was like 50% of my channel taking off. That's great. So yeah. Just, and that was, that was, that's 15 years ago. So that's me starting in 2007. Jeez. And cause that was one of the things, cause I, I asked quite a few magicians. We did a poll the other day. I said, if you were going to watch a review channel, who do you watch? Yeah. And I think it was 97% said magic orthodoxy. It was like, everyone else was like, then it was like Craig Petty and another one right. below that. Like it was just, everyone goes to you. So you, obviously you can see the 15 years is built up a reputation of people want to go to you and, and yeah like, so now i'm at um i'm just crossing into 950 deck reviews just deck reviews so i'll be hitting a thousand deck reviews like within 50 decks that's crazy <laughs> that's insane because i saw i love you at your behind the scenes um, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you got the, your deck collections i could imagine the what you're not showing if you've got yeah. 950 decks and then i can imagine what your house looks like this is what the, this is what the, the garage style is going to be, isn't it? Just I don't I don't <laughs> I don't get to put them out like everybody else gets to like make a like a mural mm-hmm. of their decks of cards or put up their magic posters. I don't get to do any of that. I'm married. I have kids. All I all my stuff's in a closet. <laughs> well, that, I that's get one. I get one closet. That's well, that's it. That's all you need. It's like this. This yeah. is this is all I have. I'm, I'm married with kids as well, and I've got this is all I have to have my magic out. So it's all it's all I'm allowed. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's what I was going to say because. Um, you do the reviews and stuff. Do you have like a studio that you shoot in, or do yeah. you just? I have to leave. I have to stuff? leave my house, so I have to go somewhere else <laughs> because the kids would be too loud. Yep. Like even right now, this was the perfect time because my kids are at school. Mm-hmm. So, so you, yeah. so yeah, you have your own studio that you go to. That's quite. That's interesting yeah. to know that you. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, having said that, like with the behind the scenes stuff, have you gonna do? A magic collection stuff as well and show everyone because what do you what do you do with all the magic after you review it do you yeah i don't i don't i don't i i have like a box i don't like i have two boxes i guess i could show like bring a box out and say this is what whoa, this is what's i have like two boxes i could bring one out and say like oh this is my like briefcase and this is my storage box mm-hmm. but like yeah i i really don't keep mm-hmm. a lot so most of most of the magic i get you know i i give back out as contests so that's great I, if because I, I know what fits my style mm-hmm. and I know like what's in my wheelhouse. So I'd rather yeah. just give it away to the people that would rather have it. Yeah, that's fair. Is there a kind of creator that you like to keep stuff on to? Like if, if you get like Jay Senki stuff, you're like, I'm not giving this away as a contest. I'm keeping this. Or do you know what I mean? Like, is there a you mean kind like, of- is it, you mean like, is there one creator that I've got all their stuff? Is that like, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're a collector of some creator or it's just no, some, no. some effects. I don't think so. I think yeah. anything that's more cards and then I like stuff that's a little bit, I like, I like card tricks that help you a little bit where you're not doing a hundred percent of the work, mm-hmm. but you know, they help, they, they give you a little bit of an edge because with, with my, just with my skill set and the fact that I don't have a ton of time, like I'm not the kind of person that has two hours a day to practice magic. I just, yeah, my yeah. life with my kids and my family and my job, like I don't, I don't have that kind of time. So, um, any any magic that gives me a little bit of a leg up mm-hmm. but then also looks I'm, I'm really into like how how it looks like i really like things that look clean and then don't have like weird mackie props that are like hey look sponge rabbits like yeah. not gonna say anything against sponge rabbits <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but i just i try to because because people already know me you know in my neighborhood in my community like they know that i don't have powers so <laughs> i try to do stuff that looks more i guess more natural so you like a lot more organic stuff is that so all your props that you have around all the kind of stuff you keep is really organic is that leading into with all this kind of stuff in your knowledge into magic and what you like do you have effects that you're working on or you got something you're working on to release or what in my own stuff yeah oh no like, yeah, because we, we had a lot of people asking. He's like, he reviews a lot of stuff. He probably know he knows a lot about magic. Is he got his own effects? So nothing you're working on. I, I've never been the kind of person that wants to like put my name on something or mm-hmm. 
my face out there. I mean, I've had more people ask me if I would make a deck, but yep. then that the, the really the thing behind making a deck is if you're not an artist, then you have to hire an artist, and then it's really their deck. So it's you know I would never want to put a deck out that had you know that was somebody else's artwork, but then I put my own name on it. Like yeah, I would I would I'd be willing to go you know half and half in with somebody and say that you know they did the artwork and it was my inspiration, but I would make sure that they got credit too. Yeah, because. I'm not a I'm not an artist either, so yeah, no, but that's fair. It's all it's all risky, like doing you know putting out a trick or doing a deck of cards, you know. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as it's out there, it's out there, and everyone has their thoughts and thinks about it. But that's that's yeah. That's then people like me get out yeah. there and criticize <laughs> I was, you. I sit outside and I was like, oh, I'm getting sweaty because you get reviewers out there. <laughs> yeah, but no, that's that's one of the things because what all your reviews, you. If you th- you find like an, if you find a negative in it, you're not negative about. It. You kind of find a way to resolve that, or you, you talk about, which is good. I, I like that it's not something bad that you just cross off the list and say this is bad because of this. You kind of help it a little bit and say this is what I'd kind of do. Well, this is the way I'd think I'd kind of do it, which is a good thought because then some people go, oh, I never thought of it doing it that way. Which I love actually watching your reviews to the way you you review stuff in that way. You, you don't think of everything as negative or because. You said there's a lot of stuff out there. You try and find the good in everything, and you are like, and that's what I enjoy about it because there are reviews that I've watched. I thought, oh yeah, that's very clever, David. I never thought of it like that. So, yeah, is that from your years and knowing about magic that you kind of have that problem solving skills with some effects, or is it come to you on the, the, the spot? Or yeah, it's probably a, it's probably a little bit of both. I think I think there's this element where um, some people think that in order for something to be a, a good review, then there has to be a lot of negativity. Just mm-hmm. like when people review movies, they're like, mm-hmm. oh, this movie had no plot line. Uh, you know, the char- I didn't care about the characters. And I'm watching the movie thinking, I like car chases and I like it when people go pew pew at each other. <laughs> so like, I, I don't care. So, yeah. I, you know, I like, I like the film. So I, for someone to tell me what the, is the film is good or bad, I don't, I don't need them to do that because I can look at a magic trick Mm-hmm. And right away, I can say, I'm probably not going to get that. And j- I just kind of know that's not my thing. But I get lots of tricks that I would never buy, mm-hmm. right? Just because it's not my thing. Like, it's just, that's not me. So I have to approach every single review as if this would be something I would buy mm-hmm. because I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know what you like. Yeah. So it's, it's the same with like, you know, doing anything. It's like, I have to be, I have to be right down the middle. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I think um, the clues that I kind of throw out, I think help people because um, I don't have to, I don't have to say anything negative. All I have to, all I, ha- all I can say is, you know, Hey, this trick uses your favorite uh, invisible material. Yeah. And then go people like, Oh, okay. I know that uses it and I don't want it. Yeah. Like yeah. I didn't say anything negative about it. I didn't say, Oh, I hate it, but I, but you hate it. So now you're just like, you've, you've just already tuned out and said, no, I'm not getting it. Yeah, that's it. And, you know, or I say like, oh, this has, you know, it's, this is, it's mostly, uh, you'll get a rough and smooth deck. And then already you've checked out. You're like, you know what? I don't do yeah. rough and smooth. So I'm not getting that. Yeah. I don't, and I didn't have to say anything negative. You yeah. know, I, I can just be honest with like, okay, this is what your 40 bucks gets you. Yeah. And yeah. most people who've bought enough magic in their life. They know the game, like they know mm-hmm. how it works. So if I just give them a few clues and say, and they'll, they'll know if they'll like it or not. Oh, yeah. They don't, they don't need me to say this sucks. They don't need me to say that. Yeah. Cause uh, on, on the other hand, someone that loves it or rough and new stuff is going to be like, Oh, this is for me. And you don't want to come in there bad mouth on it because they're like, hang on. Why is I love this kind of stuff. So right. the, the fact that you've got it all neutral is just absolutely perfect because yeah, there's you, you're, you're catering. Like you said, there's stuff that you're you would never perform, but you're catering to someone who's might perform sponge rabbits, right? Yeah, and they might be going, "That's my thing." And if you come in and saying, "I'd never perform," this is terrible, then they're, they're gonna you're making their mind up for them. So that neutral, like neutrality, that's not a word. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a, look it yeah, up. In the or, if you, or if you belittle it and say like, "Oh, this is kids magic," or "This is clown magic," or "This mm-hmm. is party magic," and you kind of make a face like I'm beneath that, like I would never do that. There's a whole bunch of magicians who do that. Why yeah. would you, why yes. would you rain on that? Yeah, why would you say that? It's just, yeah. 
No, I couldn't agree with you more. And that's one of the things I love about your reviews. And this is where we're like, you do so many reviews. Because you, you post quite a few times a day, right? Do sometimes, you, sometimes, sometimes. Do, yeah, yeah. Do, do you batch all your videos or do you, because you sit bunker down in your studio for two days and just shoot for two days straight or do you shoot every day? I have, I, I probably shoot every day. I don't shoot on the weekends. Mm-hmm. I probably have um, everything up till a week from today already online. So I have a week, I'm a week ahead. And then I've got another two weeks recorded, but not cut. Jeez. You, you edit all yourself? Yeah. Wow. With, with Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> Jeez. So you, you film all yourself, you edit all yourself, uh, and you, do you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then people always ask, like, how come you don't, how come you don't perform magic in your videos? I'm like, I don't have time. Like, yeah. You really want me to go out on the road and find a spectator? And then I also need a cameraman. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm a hundred percent me. Like I don't mm-hmm. have anybody. Yeah. So, and then you got to find the right spectator because you're going to screw up the first two times. And then you have to get a spectator that gets you, gives you a good reaction. And then your cameraman caught you while you were flashing. So you got to record it again. Yeah. Like I don't got, I don't got time to do yeah, that. Yeah. 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 No, <laughs> no, no, I couldn't agree with you both. And the, the camera never lies. Like you said, you catch something flashing and then you're putting a bad mount, like a bad thing to the effect, which could be a performer error or a participant error. And then you kind of have to explain it. Nope, couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, the, it, it's too much time. Yeah, no, definitely. And is there a backlog of magic with all, like you're talking of like, a, you've got a week ahead and you've got two weeks. Is there a magic effects that um, you're, like, have you got magic ready to shoot for the next three months that you need to sit down and shoot? Or are no. you on a... I probably only have 30 days. I, I, only, I probably only have about 25, 30 things at a time. Mm-hmm. And do you just get from like magic companies or do you get from Joe Blow down the street that wants to review yeah, something? Everybody. Mm-hmm. Cause I, my emails, my emails public. So people just reach out, you know, especially people that are like, this is the first thing they've ever done, yep. you know, and they just want to get their name out there or even, or even playing card guys, you know, people that started Kickstarters. So that's great. yeah, no, that's really good to know. Cause I know a lot of people were like, I had a few people going, Oh, I've got an effect coming out. How do, do, how do I get it to David? And I was like, oh, that's something I can definitely ask you. So that, that's good to know. Next week, mm-hmm. um, I'm doing the review for Unhanded, the JP Valerino yes. effect. And uh, so like just stuff that I'm excited about coming up or that I have right now, that is that thing was amazing to see. And mm-hmm. there's, there's like a buzz in the air right now about a bunch of other tricks that are coming yeah. out. Like there's been a couple of the tricks people have been like dropping, like, Oh, this is the trick of the year. And this thing is like flown under the radar. And I haven't seen anybody talking about this. And, I, and it's so unique. Mm-hmm. The system itself, the, 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 two, the, the, what it, what it is, it's so unique. And then just the amount of things that you can do with it, I mm-hmm. think is a lot. Like it's, it really is a utility. It's interesting that some of these other tricks that we're talking about, they really only do like one or two things. I mean, they're great, but yep. they only, only do one or two things. This thing does like seven or eight things. Yeah. And it's so affordable too. And it looks, it, it doesn't look like anything. So it's, it, that's been something I've been pretty excited about. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. When um, Unhanded first came out, I was like, oh, this is going to blow up. And like you said, it went under the radar. And I was like, how are more people not hearing about this? So I put the full performance out. I was doing like all these posts. And I was like, people need to get to know about this effect. And occasionally get someone would get it and like, I saw your video. This is incredible. And I'm like, it's great. And I'm so glad that you're ex- amped up about it is because I've got, I've given it to a couple of magicians said, check this out. And they've gone, what is this? Where'd this come from? And I'm like, it's right. Those, yeah. It's insane. Like, even if you were a magician, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't use gimmicks. I, you know, I just do cards and I don't do any, I, you know, I, I, everything's clean. I would still show this to you and say, yes. look, this, you, it looks just like your regular tuck case. No one's ever going to notice. No, no magician's ever yep. going to notice. You can, you can ditch the gimmick mm-hmm. and, and just continue on with regular, regular card tricks. You can mm-hmm. ring the gimmick back in and no one would ever notice. Yep. You can start with a gaffed trick end with a gaff trick and do all regular card tricks in the middle of it. And nobody would catch you out. Yeah. And you'd be able to do impossible things with this. I mean, I would recommend it to any, anybody, especially if they did 
especially if they were like, oh, I don't use gas. Like I would totally recommend this to you. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> we put up the full performance on our YouTube and we had so many people commenting, oh, there's cuts, there's edits. And what it is is what it is. Cause people are like, this is, this is too good. I was like, that's exactly what it is. There's nothing fishy about it. It's just very clever, very easy. Like, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to share. I, 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 I never, I never watch the video first. I always open the box and like, look at it and try to see like, can I figure this out by myself? Mm -hmm. And I was look staring at the two objects and I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is like, what did they send me? This is nothing. Yeah. I was, I was even expecting like, is there cards in here? Like there's no cards. <laughs> <laughs> you could call up Matt Murphy's and say, oh, what, what's missing from this box? It's like, there's nothing in it. <laughs> Yeah, but that's great. Also, from apart from unhanded that you're excited about, is there anything in the works that you're also you've got in a box and you're like, I can't wait to shoot with this? I don't know. I mean, oh, I mean, there's uh, I think Craig Pet is it Craig Petty? Somebody's got a new 1914 thing coming out with a calendar. It might be Craig. Uh, Craig Petty had forecast come out today. That's a mem deck. Oh, that is that. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. So I was look I was looking forward to that. So, mm -hmm. but I haven't been able think to see it yet. I think that's on its way to you. I already have it. Oh, you already have it? Great. Yeah. It was just that the, the video wasn't live. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's literally what I was posting when I uh, when you so called I didn't in, know what so. it was. <laughs> <laughs> so when we jump off this call, you can jump out and check it out. Which will, it's cool. It's a really cool um, mem deck, but we don't, we don't need to talk about that now unless you, unless you really want to know about it. But <laughs> yeah. Well, having said that, is there like talking about... Um, creators and stuff you haven't got any favorite like favorite creators is there like any favorite reviewers that you go and watch their reviews and go i learn a lot from these kind of guys or do you talk to other reviewers and share review se like secrets and stuff on no i mean i've i watched i've watched steve i mean because he's reviewed re uh, real magic review he's reviewed mm -hmm. some stuff that because he's into coins mm -hmm. and so i i don't kind of i don't really enter into that world that much yeah so but I, tr it's like one of those things where I try not to watch other reviewers too much because I don't want to end up sounding like them or talking mm -hmm. like them. Cause I really like just to find out how I would do what I was doing, um, to, to throw my script. Cause my script hasn't changed in a hundred years. Yeah. Um, I just went to the, some of the, I went to the big forum and, uh, <laughs> I was, I would read when a new trick would come out, what questions people, magicians would naturally ask. Yeah. You know, they would say, what do you get in the box? Like they didn't show us what was in the box, what's in there. Or they would say, um, you know, I, it looks like it's plastic. Is it going to, is it going to hold up? Is it going to last? Is it, how good is it made? Is it just paper? Is it tape? So I was like, oh, I, got, I should answer that question, you know, and answer like just how long is the video? Like what, what tricks they cover in the video? So I wrote down like all the questions that magicians asked and just found out there's like, well, there's like eight that are always the same. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to answer those eight questions and hopefully that'll tell you whether you like it or not. So I've seen other reviewers, like when they just start coming out, like some new, when they're new, when they're new, it's almost like they copy my script verbatim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, Hey, that's my, <laughs> that's my shtick. <laughs> they go, go, hi, I'm David. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Or they try to be so different, you know, that, that I'm almost like, like, what, what are you like? It's, just, it's, it's, then it's almost harder for me to watch. Cause I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what mm -hmm. are you reviewing? Yeah. So I, I don't watch other reviewers as much just mm -hmm. because I'm just, I'm a, I don't want to copy them. Yeah. That's and, fair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, and I don't want to sometimes, sometimes uh, if, if a, like a pot, like if I'm late to the game, Right. And which happens a lot, like Craig will put something out and, you know, Tyler and, and Steve, they'll put something out and I'm like, oh, I haven't reviewed this yet. Then I'll go watch theirs and say, OK, what didn't they cover? Yeah. yeah. And then then it tells me, like, I can I can go I can go in a different direction and I'll go this way. So that's very clever. Very clever. Yeah. I like that because yeah, you don't want to be caught up to saying, hey, you copied my script. So well, been doing it for 15 years. Do you. Are you what, what's, what's the plan for 2022, 2023, 2024? Are you, you 15 years? Are you, are you over reviewing yet? Or are you at your prime and you can't wait to do it? I always, 15? I always feel like it, you know, I always feel like there's so much work that goes into it. Mm -hmm. And then really the only, uh, really what you get out of it more is just 
the people that appreciate you. That's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's really the, the thanks and the payment. Yeah. And so, um, I feel like I've kind of plateaued as far as where I can take this. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like at 47,000 subscribers. And yeah. so you're like, how many, how many magicians are out there in the world? And then on top of that, how many of them have YouTube and watch YouTube and like, that's their world. And you know what your demographic is. And really my demographic, my demographic is uh, kind of almost men that are my age that have like expendable income that are hobbyists, mm-hmm. you know, like pro- magician pros don't watch me. So it's, it's more of just like, you know, they're, they're a hobby magician in there and they do tricks for their families or their friends, like kind of what I do. Yeah. And so to say that my channel is going to grow, like, I don't, I can't see that. I can't see myself growing that much. I mean, even if you look at like Daniel Madison, he's got 90,000 subs. So, mm-hmm. I mean, like, I'm never going to be as good as him. Pig cakes, pig cakes got 50 or 55. So he's only a little bit above me, you know? So we're, we're kind of all in there. Like Xavier, I think is in the eighties. Mm-hmm. So we're all kind of in that little hub. So I don't, yeah. I don't feel like it's going to like shoot off. So, yeah. um, I have two other, do you want to talk about how busy I am? I have two other <laughs> YouTube channels. <laughs> so I have one where I teach magic that's be- at a beginner's level. So I teach like beginning level magic. And that started because I was actually teaching a class at a school. And I, whenever I did the lessons for the day, I said, well, if you go home and you can watch YouTube, you get the lessons on YouTube, you can watch it. And so I just started adding like really simple card tricks. And I thought, well, that's something that has longevity. Mm-hmm. Like people, people use YouTube to learn. Yeah more so that channel has more potential to grow Mm -hmm. and then um i'm a huge like star wars nerd i'm a big star wars fan and so i have a star wars channel where i talk about just like my hobby and i mean that's got a huge fan base too so yeah i don't know i i i kind of live on youtube i mean i have those channels i've got i got a channel for my my own family uh both my sons have a channel that i manage um, my work has a channel that I manage. So I have like six or seven YouTube channels. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> One day you're going to get crossed up and then you're going to like post a magic tutorial on your works channel. And I worry about that. So, and, I, <laughs> and now I'm on, and now I'm on Kickstarter. So I'm not, I'm not, now I'm on TikTok. So I'm doing, I perform magic over there. Yeah. So that's been fun. You yeah. joined the t- TikTok lifestyle? <laughs> it's hard. It was hard. I was doing it for a while and then it was hard to keep up because they're like, you got to publish every day. Oh yeah. Like you got to publish it. Yeah. I, I bumped into Jason Ladani at, at uh, Magi Fest. He's like, you got to upload every day. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm already doing so much more stuff. It's hard. Exactly. Isn't it? You take, yeah. the, you take your foot off the pedal there and it just starts to snowball and, back. And, and so much more critical. Like people on TikTok are so critical. Like it's oh, yeah. just like, just like ah, oh, magnets and a smoke machine, and oh, there's a midget underneath you handing you cards, and <laughs> yeah. you know it's like they. And but on, on YouTube, everyone's like nice and complimentary. And I realize that the people that my demographic again, people like that that watch me are more are magicians. Nobody, no layperson is looking me up and watching my video. I hope mm-hmm. so, but I still have to walk that line of like, well, I can't reveal what this is. Like I know yeah. the magician really wants me to say what yeah. this is, but I can't yeah like, exactly even when i even when i reviewed unhanded i didn't tell them i what it was like yeah. i didn't say what the gimmick yeah, they yeah. did so yeah yeah it's, it's gotta, a, yeah it's a weird fine line of trying to give enough information out to the the, the buyer that wants to buy this because they don't know what it is yet but you also right. you got to do the respectful thing to the creator by not saying hey this is what it is and then them not earning any money from it so yeah yeah mate you're doing well. You're doing well. I don't know. 15 years and you're, you're keeping it up. Keep, I love it. I'm an old, I'm an old man. I'm 50, I'm 54 this year. So Jeez. 54, 54 years, young. years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, uh, I'm my, my camera is about to die. It's actually flashing and beeping at me. I don't know if you can hear it through the mic. So, uh, I think that's probably about the time to start to wrap it up, but I appreciate yeah. it. Um, what I'll do is I'll have links to your YouTube channel down below, your TikTok down below. Did you want links to your other two YouTubes down below? Nah. nah? What about your Star Wars one? Because I know I'm going to go watch it because I'm a massive Star Wars fan. I've got Star Wars tattooed on my hands. I've got a 
Oh, yeah, I've got Star Wars. And, I, and ironically, the video I uploaded today was uh, for G.I. Joe because uh, somebody in my neighborhood gave me all these vintage G.I. Joe toys. They're like, mm-hmm. here, do you want these? I'm like, sure. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, because I saw and your I, tweet about that. But I really appreciate it, David. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Um, Absolutely. And I can't wait to see more of your reviews online and see what you think of Unhanded. I'm going to share that out because I'm as excited as you are about it. So oh, I yeah, appreciate so it. good. Well, thanks for coming hanging out and uh, I will yeah, my pleasure. talk to you very soon, David. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.